I've set up a backup in Microsoft Azure. And what I did was I took a Windows virtual machine, in this case a Windows 10, but it works on Windows Server as well. And I ran a backup of it in a previous video, which you can check out in this playlist. Now, what I want to do is I want to restore some files from it. I don't want to restore the whole thing. I just want to restore some files. So I'm highlighting my restore point from my backup, and I'll click on File Recovery. And we get this new wizard that comes up. We see step one, select the recovery point. So if I have more than one recovery point, I can choose that here. I only have the one because I just ran my first backup. Now I need, what I need to do is I need to download the executable to be able to browse and recover the file. So I'm going to click on Download Executable. And it's generating the script and password. The download's going to start within a minute according to the message. And you're going to need to copy that password to run the script. Now I have the option to download the file and also copy the script. Once it's done, I'll click download. There's my executable and it says it's generating the password still for the script. While we're waiting, I'll go ahead and click on the executable and it says to enter the password from the portal and press enter. So I'll need to wait until this is done and then we can go ahead and do that. The password has been generated and I'll click on copy to clipboard. And I'll bring back up my command prompt and I'll just right click to enter the password. Now we see a Windows PowerShell that's coming up so we can recover our files. And now we see File Explorer of our virtual machine. And I'll double click on my test folder. I'll right click on test doc. And I'll just paste it into my C drive. Click continue for administrator permission. And look at that. I've recovered a file that I've backed up from Azure to my local computer. I can then copy this back up to a virtual machine in Azure that's running, or I can copy it up to blob storage or whatever type of storage I want up at Azure. But I've successfully restored a file from my virtual machine backup. It's also showing that I had an additional drive, and it's just giving it the drive letter of I. It's giving my C drive the drive letter of H as it's being mounted on my own host computer. Now, once all that's done, I need to close the connection. So I'll close those two boxes, and I'll click Q for quit. And now I'm going to unmount the disk. So what it's going to do is it's going to unmount it from my file explorer, which is H and I. So I'll just go ahead and click on Unmount Disks. And we'll make sure that those get unmounted from my local computer. And what should happen within a minute or two is H and I should just disappear from your local computer or whatever drive letters it gave it. And then you'll just go back to uh, running your computer just the way you normally would. And with a quick refresh, H and I have just gone away. And we see here that the unmount was successful. So that is how you recover files from a virtual machine in Azure to your local computer.